So crushed. Oh my god. Okay. <sighs> Action. Can you tell I'm so happy? Well, if you can't, I have reached 200 subscribers on this channel and I want to thank you guys so much for supporting me and just like fucking with me, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> the channel has been growing, our channel. I'm gonna say ours, it's not even mine. Like, this is for you guys. So I am very thankful for everyone who's been supporting me. And so we're just gonna make sure that I continue to give you guys good content because who wants crappy content? I don't. No, we don't. We don't do that over here. And we're gonna get into this video. I did a DIY box braid tutorial for you guys today. And I'm gonna be just showing you the stuff that I used to prep my hair and the stuff I used during the braiding process and the hair that I actually used to do the braids. So make sure that you comment, you like, and you subscribe to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? I think you should. And let's get into it. The first thing that I'm gonna show you is the hair that I use. It is called Free Trust Braid by Shake and Go, and it looks like this. It's The length is 28 inches, and the color is number two. And these are pre-stretched, pre-detangled, hot water setting, flame resistant, flame retardant, whatever. No one's gonna put their hair, you know, in a fire, right? So this is what it looks like. Yeah. What I used to wash my hair before, because you have to prep your hair before you do braids or any protective style, I went in with my Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafuro Oil Intensive Hydration Shampoo with Fig Extract and Baobab Oil, and this is what it looks like. This one, guys, hydrates and cleans very well. I also went in with my Aussie Moist... <coughs> My Aussie Moist Deep Conditioner with Avocado and Australian Jojoba Oil, and this is what it looks like if you watched my previous videos, which I think, <laughs> I think you should. Um, I talk about this, and it hydrates my hair very well. There's a ton of slip, and even though it does have, I believe it does have silicones in it, it works, it works. And then after I came out of the shower, I used my multi-use softening weave-in conditioner by Melanin Hair Care. If you haven't already, you should check out the video that I did. I did a review on this as well as the oil and the twist cream. I use the twist cream as well to prep my hair because what I usually do is I like to stretch my hair and I didn't want to use heat. So I went in and tried to twist my short hair, my short 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 hair just to stretch it out a bit so i did use this to twist it up and the next day i took them out and then i braided my hair so i went in with this as well and then to just rehydrate to make sure we really lock in the moisture i went in with my 100 percent yellow shea butter even though i don't really rave too much about this product i used my eco styler argan oil gel I don't have any other gel and since coronavirus wants to take over the whole world, I couldn't go to the beauty supply store, I had to work with what I had. So well, hopefully these last longer because usually I do them a little bit bigger but this time I did them smaller. I'll let you guys get into this video and yeah, stay tuned. So that it's easier for me to show you guys, I finished majority of my hair and I'm now giving myself a middle part. I usually recommend to use a tail comb with a sharper end because it does make the parts neater and easier to do. So here I'm just making sure that I take my edges away from like the hair that I'm going to be braiding with because I do not want my edges to be snatched. I would like to have edges when this is done so I'm trying to grow them out too so you know just oiling them down and keeping them away from tension is just really important. And I also like to twist my hair because it just allows me to grip my hair easier and especially because it's short now. So you're going to just take a piece of hair from the pack and divide it into two equal halves. 
once you do this, just put them on top of one another and it's just easier to see how I'm doing it than me explain it. But it's pretty simple. Okay, so I'm gonna try my best to explain this, but your hair is gonna be the third piece of the braid. Braids have three pieces, right? So your hair is the third piece. And so you're just gonna lock your hair into between both of the strands that you made and then proceed to twist it over one another like you're beginning a braid. And then you're gonna add your hair and put it under the second braid and over the first braid. And then it should kind of make a knot in a way just so that it doesn't come out of your hair and then you'll continue to braid as normal. What I'm doing at this part is I'm adding some of the fake hair into my hair because eventually your hair is gonna run out and to make it look like a regular braid, right? So you're gonna add a piece of hair to your, to your hair. And I also added a little bit from the other strand to my, to my hair. I'm hopefully explaining this as <laughs> proper as I can. But you're basically just adding hair to your hair just to make it a full strand. Another tip is just to run your hands through the hair while you're braiding because it can tangle on itself. So just to avoid having a big knot at the end of the braid, just make sure you're doing it throughout the braiding process. So this part is optional, you can add a little bit of gel to what is going to be the root of your hair because it does reduce frizz and just makes it look neater. So again, you're going to make sure your hair is going to be in that lock that I described before. It should look something like this. And then you're going to proceed to put the fake hair over the other strand of the fake hair and then put your hair underneath that strand and over the second strand. Like you're just braiding like regular and that's just going to create a knot to make sure that your hair does not slip out. And then you're going to continue braiding and then eventually add hair to your the fake hair to your natural hair. If this process does seem a little bit harder for you in terms of gripping your hair, I recommend using rubber bands, but this was my first time I went without using rubber bands in every part, so gripping my hair was a little bit hard, especially because it's short, but rubber bands are super, super helpful. So now you're gonna take fake hair and add it to the natural hair and do the same thing on the other side and this is because your hair is either running out or it's just thinner than the rest of the strands and then you're going to continue just braiding as normal and making sure that you detangle as you go so you don't end up with a knot at the end So here you see that I am using rubber band just because it is a bit hard for me to grip my hair back there so I am using it right here and we're going to continue to use the same method I said, just lock in the braid or the twist that I made and then put one strand over the other and you see I'm like struggling. <laughs> it is a little bit hard um, to do the back but you just have to practice and sometimes you might have to do a braid like twice or even three times but you'll get the hang of it eventually.
Guys, my arms were hurting so much, especially when I just do the top of my hair, like the section I'm doing right now. My arms literally give out not even halfway through the braid. So next what you're going to want to do is hot water set your braids, but be sure that you do not put your hair itself in boiling water, like the natural part of your hair, so you should roughly know where your hair ends, but because my hair is super short, I can go pretty much almost the whole braid. And this just makes sure that the braids don't unravel and it gives it a shine as well. And make sure you have a towel because it's pretty hot. So that's the end of this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.